Friends? Not yet, Sonoshi. I haven't changed this sign from close to open either. Apollo hasn't finished those errands either. But in the meantime, we will be doing a customized set of Joy-Cons once again. I know Apollo really wants his, but you know, at the same time, he's a dog. I don't think dogs can play the Switch. Will Trash or Treasure Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl ever happen? The game hasn't been updated in a while, so it looks like it's completed. I haven't thought about it. The only Nickelodeon game I'm planning on reviewing is SpongeBob SquarePants A Cosmic Shake. That is one I want to do during the summer. And, you know, with Nickelodeon games, usually the quality... It used to be great in the PS2, GameCube, Xbox era, Gen 6, even a little bit of Gen 7. But I don't know anymore. I don't want to spoil too much, but I'm not exactly a huge fan of the Cosmic Shake, which is disappointing. But in the meantime, these custom Joy-Cons we're doing, the reason why I wanted to do another pair of custom Joy-Cons is not only because this is an obsession, but I recently did a pair for TND. I customized his Joy-Cons where they were essentially Super Famicom themed. And what I noticed is the material from felt incredible. It's known as a soft touch, and it's exclusive to the matte colors. Usually what I'll do is I'll do the transparent colors or, you know, the color changing. Sometimes metallic, but in this case, I decided to go for the soft touch, the white, because, for one, I love the material. And while I could have gone for Super Famicom, I wanted to do something a little bit, you know, different, customized. I'm thinking of starting a Patreon. Reese. Very cool you're watching from the mountains. Which ones? Smoky Mountains? But with the Demetri Flare, we are going for a 3DS-themed set of Joy-Cons once again. We did these new 3DS-themed ones. And for this one, we're doing new Nintendo 2DS XL-themed. We are going for my favorite one being the orange and white. It kind of has a creamsicle look to it, which is perfect for the summer. So these will be my summer Joy-Cons. Red Bull gives you hands. All right. We will be starting this now. Before we start, Extreme Rate provided the shells. They offer all sorts of customization materials for many different controllers, even retro ones. I did a GameCube controller. What about Battle for Bikini Bottom? I've been hesitant. You know, it's not a good remake in terms of optimization, but I had fun with it and it's like 30 bucks. So I'd recommend that over Cosmic Shake. Although I haven't played it on Switch, I played it on Series X and it does run okay. But as for the Joy-Con shells, if you go on Extreme Rates website and use the code Demich, you can get a discount. So definitely do that if you're considering customizing your Switch. And I'm going to show you, once again, just how easy it is to customize your Joy-Cons. So we'll get the new 2DS XL out of the way. And we'll be starting with the left Joy-Con. So we're going to get this one out of the way. We'll get the set of buttons out of the way. As you can see, we are doing the D-pad mod. We always do that. Demich does what Nintendo don't. Unless there's no option for, you know, the controller color with the D-pad. or with Some of them don't have D-pads. But if there's the option, I always get it. So the first thing we're going to do is we can move Mario out of the way. Oh, no. I don't know what that was. That sounded like Consuelo from Family Guy. Oh, mamma mia. I guess I should just do Super Show Mario on this channel. Oh, what are you doing, Demetri? Get me out of here. There, that's better. So let's get the blue Joy-Con. This one's in pretty bad shape with the analog stick. That was a nice color scheme for the 2DS, and we will be doing it for the Switch as well. And we will be replacing the analog sticks with the hall sensing ones, which get rid of the drift. I also did that for TND's pair of Joy-Cons, and the good news is they were so good that I'm doing it to all my favorite pairs. I was using standard, sturdier, but very standard analog stick replacements. But now I'm going for hall effect, and they are great. You gotta be careful with the screws for the Joy-Cons. This requires a tri-wing. It's the only part of the Joy-Con that requires tri-wing, and these will be going in the Scoopedia, which is Greek for trash, because I don't like the tri-wing screws, and the set comes with Phillips head, which I'll be using from this point on. Oh no. 
Everybody want to switch. Will any of you be getting it? Because I'm getting it because I'm going to review it. I just can't wait to see what that game is all about. But, you know, I'm not sure how many people would get the game who aren't obsessive over stuff like that. Like, there's a certain niche for that. It's one of those games that kind of looks so bad that it's good. Is it actually coming out? Yes, I will be reviewing the game. Is the game a joke? No, it's actually real. I would assume most wouldn't get the game. I don't like the $70 thing, but you know what? It's whatever. I'm not going to defend it, but it's like an annoyance, but... I don't know. I don't feel the same way about I do with Pokemon, where they're literally putting out garbage. But with $70 games, you know, Tears of the Kingdom, I don't like that it's $70 and it is an annoyance, but if there was one game to be worth that, it would probably be that. And I'm glad to admit I was wrong about it, because I initially thought it'd be just pretty much similar to Breath of the Wild, but turns out I was wrong. It adds a lot. It's essentially the Galaxy 2 to Breath of the Wild, which is a great thing. Okay, so what is this right here? Something fell off. A little bit of black plastic. I'm not sure what it's for, but that does not usually happen. Might be due to the Joy-Con quality just not being that good. A roll call of your Joy-Cons when you're done. Okay, since you donated, yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. That was very kind of you. So we're just going to pry this off and put the release button aside. One three switch will be coming next year. Let me read that again. When you're doing it on your phone, the super chat or just the chat in general doesn't show up right away. Oh, it'll be $90 and there'll be paid updates. That is great. I'm looking forward to it. That sounds like the game of all time. I think that it could be interesting. You know, it'd be funny if the game's actually great. You know, I think that's the concept of it might be a little bit intimidating because apparently you can play with up to 100 players and there is also phone compatibility as well as Joy-Cons. So I don't know how that's going to work. Usually the most you'd get is like eight players. Well, thank you. That is a compliment. Scott the Waz is great, although I don't. Th or we have a different style. I don't think one's better than the other. Do you have a feeling Nintendo might go through another Wii U Dark Age where sales decline? I don't know if it'll sell as well as the Switch, but I don't think they'll have another Wii U anytime soon. It's also going to be one player with no CPUs. Isn't that pretty much just solitaire? Da -da -da. Get the tweezers. Get this out of the way. And then from here, you just unscrew. Actually, I think in this case, you probably just want to get the ribbons out of the way first. There are different ways you can go about it. It's not just one solution, but you know, at the same time, I've been doing this for two years and I kind of have my own method. I've memorized how to replace the shells on Joy-Cons and replace the analog sticks. It's like riding a bike. Let's see. So she said something. Dimitri, what are your thoughts on Pac-Man's Namco History Portrayal in Smash Bros? What exactly are you referring to? Oh, the move set. I think it's really cool. With Pac-Man, they could have taken stuff from Pac-Man World, but I don't think a booty bounce is as interesting as Namco's history. So I think that's cool. Kind of like how the Duck Hunt duo, it's themed around the light gun games. Things like Wild Gunman, Hogan's Alley, maybe even Gumshoe. There were quite a few Zapper games. I can tell you that there were more Zapper games than Rob the Robot games. Always a good idea to have your screws organized. But in this case, I remembered the screw sizes, which ones belong to the small ones, and which ones are the larger gold ones.
All right, let's see some more of the comments. What is your fi or least favorite 2000s console? Mattel Hyperscan? No, in all seriousness, probably the original Xbox. It just doesn't have much going for it. I think the design's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's just like... There's a reason why everyone remembers the PS2 and GameCube, but not so much the original Xbox. I feel like with the Xbox in general, the fan base for that usually isn't so much gamers. It's like the high school or college bro crowd where they'll play it and remember it, but I don't think they get too nostalgic towards games. Whereas Nintendo and Sony, they have so many experiences that, you know, just last with fans for years to come. That's not discounting the games by any means or discrediting them. That's just, I mean, considering the IPs that they have. Although they do have Halo, so that's one thing. Okay, so from here, we just want to take out the rumble motor. It's adhered pretty well, so I'm just going to take this back. The minus button already fell out, which is good. We will be replacing all the buttons and not using any of the original ones. We love Katamari. Yes, we do. Ooh, ooh. I know Soshi's played it, but have any of you or anyone else played the game? It is great. Definitely one of the highlights on the Switch this year. Okay, so let's see. I'm just getting this out. The cable kind of fell, but you know, that happens sometimes. So you just, it's an extra step where you just got to put it back in. some magnetic thing about this. I don't know what's going on, but it's like sticking. That, or that's kind of weird. So we don't need anything but the rubber cover from this one. Conquer Live and Reloaded. Something about the ghoulies comes to mind. Well, those were Rareware games, so obviously. There are exceptions to everything like that, though. I don't think the Xbox is a bad console. It's just not as good as the alternatives. Especially the GameCube. Alright, so this is where we include the D-pad. We got the nice orange D-pad. And for the buttons, we're going to have to take them off here. Why are you still begging Game Freak to fix Scarlet and Violet even though they most likely won't? I haven't begged them to fix the game. I just stopped caring about playing the game. I haven't played it since I beat the game. Which is rare because usually a Pokemon game will be quite an experience for me. I beat X and Y but was continuously playing that game even though it really didn't have much of a post game. But... With Pokemon, you know, I really don't have expectations, but, you know, at the same time, it's just like I know a lot of other people want the game to be fixed. It should have never released in the state that it did, but here we are. Let me just make sure that went in the right way. I think it could go in either way. I love the Ouya. I think Ouya was an interesting concept, but... The execution was not very good. That's the thing with a lot of those Kickstarter things. Remember ukulele? All right, so we're just gonna put this aside before we install everything else. Just put the ribbon back in here. Here we go. And from here, it's just a matter of placing everything into position. Could have put the minus button in there, but I just decided not to.
Oh, I heard of Plant Rock. The only one that bothered me if he did it was the Virtual Boy. He can smash a switch all he wants, though. It's You know what? It's pretty funny, because I was talking about he can smash a switch all he wants, though, and here we are just refurbishing Joy-Cons. We are fixing a broken switch. Well, not the console itself, but you get what I mean. Okay, buttons are feeling good. So I'm debating... Actually, I think I'll just put the analog stick in first. So we're just going to get the hall sensing analog sticks. TND, thank you for introducing these to me. I will never go back to regular ones. Yeah, Sonic Superstars does look pretty amazing. It's amazing. I'm the reason everybody fired up this evening. That has nothing to do with Sonic, but if you get that reference, you're an OG. Now, I wonder if Nintendo's going to have anything for the summer, besides everybody 1-2 Switch. Until my membership expires. Nintendo will wait till the fall? Very likely, yeah. They might do something for that live event they keep pushing. I don't think Plan Rock did it. I saw a channel that did throw Virtual Boy and destroy it. I don't care if it was broken before. You can usually fix something like that. Yeah, I feel like with some of the references, it's just kind of like extremely obscure. Some of my videos have like inside jokes thrown in. That only Petey the Parrot will understand. Now the ribbon cable for this is not as flexible as the official one. Which is good because that means it's sturdier. I'm just going to redo that. Just to make sure it's in place fully. Yeah, it looked like it was good. There we go. I might play Yokai Watch. Is it really long? Because there are only so many games I can play, but I mean, if it's like a shorter experience. Did we ever get a Switch Yokai Watch or no? I heard something about Yokai Watch 4 supposedly happening, but we haven't seen like anything, have we? Or. I don't know. Just get the rubber cover and put that on, and then we put the cable on. All right, this in the place. Perfect. Yokai Watch is semi long from what I remember. A streamer cameoed in the Yokai Watch anime. What is, or yeah, what is going on with the series? Oh, Yokai Watch 4 is only in Japan? That's weird, because usually Nintendo Switch games, they're region free. Obviously, it wouldn't need to be translated, but still. I know Yokai Watch didn't really take off in America. I think it did well in Japan, though. I know the third game's expensive as hell to get on the 3DS. Good news is there's 8Shop, though, if you're interested.
So that 3DS update, apparently you could not mod your system if you installed that update prior. If you modded it and then updated, no problem. But for the new 3DS, they already fixed it. So you can still mod that, although I'm not sure about the old one. Did you even like Ukulele 1 and 2? TND, is that you in disguise? We were just talking about that, and he was talking about how bad ukulele... You know what? If you are free, I'll give you a call and you can join the stream. It was called Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. It's a 2D platformer instead of a 3D one, and it's a lot better than Ukulele. I think with Ukulele, it was a Nintendo 64-era 3D platformer that just did not adapt to the times. Like, it had all the same problems and such as Banjo-Kazooie would have on the N64. Okay, everything's in place here. We do not need this minus button. I'm gonna send that to the minus world. Your tricky Nick or the Meech. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand the Barbie reference. And I think I'm happy about that. I don't think I want to know. So we're replacing the button. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take the spring from this. And bring it to the new L button. I do play some indie games. I really haven't been gaming that much outside of Zelda and Katamari. It's just so dumb with Nintendo. Like, I understand not wanting to deal with, like, piracy and stuff, but what is there to pirate if you're not even selling your games anymore? It doesn't make sense. Okay, this one's being a little bit finicky, but that's okay. I don't think it was in all the way. Now, it's a matter of transferring over the ZL button. Whoever had these Joy-Cons before just probably left them outside because some of the plastic is falling off. It isn't a problem since we're not using these buttons anyway, but I don't understand how some people just can't take basic care of their system. But on the flip side, it gives me a little project to do, which is nice. So we're going to get the middle portion and just transfer that over. And then put in the springs.
What should come first, Mario movie sequel, Donkey Kong movie, or Zelda movie? They're probably going to do a Mario movie. I mean, yeah, we'll just go with that. Just if you haven't seen the movie before. Although I'm pretty sure all of us have. The game I got is Yoshi's Topsy Turvy for Game Boy Advance. Is it any good? Because I just could not get into it. Maybe I was doing something wrong, though. I'm going to see if there's tweezers. Actually, hmm. I think it'd just be easier to restart. You're gonna see where the spring went. Sometimes I go flying, but usually they aren't too far in reach. Okay, where'd that spring go is a question. Oh, here it is. I grab a lot of Switch games each year. I would say I do too. Well, the last Yoshi game was Crafted World. It was a while back, four years ago. Yeah, I'll call you after I get this sorted out. Alright, got the springs. It's just a matter of aligning this properly. Let me just make sure it's the right one. Yep. Okay, that spring is not going in for some reason. Or wait, did it? Almost. Yes, you are getting a Summer Demich Direct. Just fix this. See what is going wrong with that, because usually I'm able to put the springs or the CL button in with no problem. Okay. Got it. 
Yeah, that spring should be on Santa's naughty list. Watching Demetrius' content for a while is like watching all the Marvel movies. If you understand all the jokes Demetrius makes, well, it's like a community. Tricky Nick should know about the fire. TND should know about it. All right, I'm going to get this in. And then after that, we're going to have TND join the stream. I'll just screw this in place and then give you a phone call. Demi 3, like E3. Well, Jeff Grubb did a similar thing with Summer Game Fest where he called it Jeff Grubb's Summer Game Mess. Oh, I want a special! Much like Rhyme Force happening! Oh. We are almost done. Yeah, this, or sometimes with Joy-Con repairs and such, springs can be finicky, but just take your time, and you will be good to go. Alright, everything is screwed into place, so now it's just a matter of getting the battery in. And then what you do is you get the final cover, get the release button, and screw that on. Anton Retro, good to see you. How are you doing, man? Actually, that's a good question, because I know you are in Canada. How bad are the fires? You okay? Because I know in New York, they're really bad. So I couldn't only imagine what's going on in Canada. All I can tell you is forest fires should be 100% factually invalid. Okay, so in this case, we forgot one step because I haven't been doing it for custom Joy-Cons for a while. We actually have replacement SL and SR buttons. So... When it comes to replacing those, it's just a matter of getting them off the thing and replacing them. Because blue looks nice with the blue, but I will say, if we're going for the orange and white, I don't think the blue is a good look. So the good news is, it just comes on here. And I will be having to do this for the other one, because I'm going to be taking a lot of the buttons off. How's it going? It seems worse in New York City, but where I am, it seems okay. But it smells like campfires everywhere. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you're safe, man. That doesn't sound good. Look, I'm all down to sing a campfire song song, but not in that case. There's a little bit of excess plastic. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is my favorite 3DS game. New York just has a Mexico cowboy filter. It's fine. Alright, so we're going to have TND right after this. Stay tuned after these messages. And we are almost done. Now, keep in mind, you shouldn't do this with the battery connected, but, you know, at the same time, 
should be fine. And you don't need to use tweezers for this, but since I'm also wearing gloves, that is why I'm doing it, so I can be more precise. And just put this in place and screw everything back on. All right. Here we go. Farm? Ah, oh, that was a legendary direct. Wasn't quite legendary though, since that didn't announce a leg strap update. But here we just align the rail with the controller shell. I'm just gonna make sure the rumble motor is in place. Sometimes that's in the way. Not usually though. Okay, maybe I should replace the rumble motor. Or just reinstall that. Yeah, definitely doesn't go in that way. Position was good. Wire just seemed to get in the way for some reason. I don't think it's adhered all that well. Sometimes that happens. There we go. It is fixed. Okay, looking good. So we're just going to need to screw this in, but I think you can already get an idea of what it looks like. But in the meantime, I'm going to get my phone and call TND. I do not listen to Pink Floyd. Speak for yourself, buddy. But the one who is the credible leaker is none other than Jeff Slob. Jeff Slob, everybody. Yeah, he was right about Metroid Prime. He was right. He was right. <laughs> I mean, he was right. Also, because I'm a credible insider. I've played everybody one two switch early, and guys, ugh, not to be that guy, but it's one of the best games Nintendo's ever released. I, I'm not even kidding here. Petey, go jump into a well. Hey, my name's not Peter. That's my dad's name. <laughs> hey, Petey, what's your favorite song? I like the Root Sandstorm. Da -da -da -da. No, your favorite song is. <laughs> It's the birthday song, remember? What do I think of everybody wants you switch? Well, I am under NDA, so I technically can't tell you. But let's just say I played a game called Shm Everybody of One Two Switch. If you ignore the game, then it's amazing. Okay, Petey, we can't have you because somebody wanted to hear TND's thoughts on ukulele. Hey, Sid! Hello, everybody. Sid the science kid. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? It's good to see you all. You've been eating the same ice cream for hours. It's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> so I heard somebody had a question about ukulele. This comment section's not going well. What's going on? 
It's everything seems fine to me. Everything seems okay to me. Um, <laughs> that's not Petey's favorite song. <laughs> I'm just gonna be me. <laughs> Please no! I don't want to remember that. I love Jimmy Neutron quotes. Oh, I'm glad you remembered it was from Jimmy Neutron. Well, I think that yeah kind of gave it away. So <laughs> wait, but the question. Before uh, about ukulele, I want you to answer the question of who does Sam from Jimmy Neutron remind you of? The owner of the candy bar. Well, it wouldn't make sense here because nobody knows the stories. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You ever heard the word duck? <laughs> <laughs> no, but what was I going to say? Uh, what was the question about ukulele again? Someone asked about, or you can ask the question again, if you are still here from the original chat. And it was a super chat, too, so T&D. Oh, maybe I, could, maybe I could look for it, but yeah, go ahead. What were we going to say? I think it was something along the lines of why didn't you like Ukulele 1 or 2, or what do you think of them? Oh, I, I found it. It says, oh. did, you, did you even like Ukulele 1 and 2? Okay, so... Funnily enough, I got the second game first before the first, uh, before the original game, um, because I heard good things about it. Um, it's very reminiscent of classic Donkey Kong Country mixed with some of the new things introduced by Retro Studios' um, Donkey Kong Country Return series. Um, so I, I think it's a pretty good game. It expands on 3D World's world map idea. It does look a little cheap in places, but they are an indie company. I understand that. But overall, really good level design, good music, um, great world map. And I love that the world map is interactable and it kind of causes the levels to change around you. So overall, a pretty good game. Gonna... Now, a few days ago, a gator told me $4 was worth it for ukulele. <laughs> So he was gonna I use the it. he was gonna use the four dollars for beer otherwise. <laughs> no, I, I they had it on sale for four bucks, so I said why not? And you said it was worth it for four bucks. And I didn't know I didn't know if you meant that literally or not, but apparently you did. I mean it's four <laughs> bucks. Yeah, but to put it lightly, I have not been having the best time with ukulele. I think it's boring i think it's dull and I, I i just feel like i'm stuck in a bubble with it in the sense that it feels like this is a game from a lost era um not in the best way possible like if you play banjo kazooie nowadays it does have issues but it's better designed than this game the problem with ukulele seems like it wants it has like so many ideas it doesn't know what to choose from uh the music i'm not really a fan of i'm not really sure they're trying to evoke banjo kazooie-esque music but we just finished the first one how does it look oh it looks nice yeah i think so especially just you it looks a little more yellow but i can assure you it is absolutely orange it looks really nice. Maybe I'll, I'll get that for, for a new one. Uh, yeah, once you start show. modding Joy-Cons, you won't stop. But we're going to do the red one now. So we're just going to get these shelves out of the way. Actually, um, we're just going to prepare for it by taking off the buttons. Yeah, and it's funny because um, right around the time I bought Ukulele 1, I actually received in the mail Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. And let me tell you, if you guys have not played that game, they do an excellent job uh, carrying over the banjo gameplay to the Game Boy Advance. I mean, it is top down, but it's still very much a collectathon. It's very impressive, and it follows up from the events of Banjo Tooie. Anyways, long story short, Ukulele One. Dare I say it might be a terrible game? I, I I don't say that very often about a lot of games, but I just am not enjoying my time with it. That bad, huh? Yeah. I'm having a great time with Grunty's Revenge, though. Oh, man. That does not sound reassuring. 
And this is why I don't donate to Kickstarters. Yeah. You know what is reassuring, though? Sonic Superstars! Am I right? Go on about it for just a bit, because I'm getting everything set up for the right Joy-Con. That what happened? Go on about Sonic Superstars, oh. because I'm getting everything oh, cool. set up for the right Joy-Con. In... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was watching Summer Game Fest, and... As usual, it was kind of a snore fest. Um, I expected Sonic to be there, but I thought it was just going to be Frontiers DLC because Sega said they were going to be there. But oh man, I know that Zippo was like he was right. <laughs> I, I he I knew he was spreading a rumor around that there was going to be a new 2D modern Sonic game with the core cast playable, but. He was right and he was wrong. He was right that there was a new 2D game with the main cast. He was wrong that it was the modern cast because it's a classic game. Um, very excited. It looks beautiful. Uh, it's taking it's taking place in brand new zones. There's new mechanics and new ideas here. Fang the Sniper returns. And apparently Naoto Oshima, the original designer for Sonic, is designing a new rival for Sonic. And his prob... And from what I see, he seems like he's involved with the game. So, it's funny how we can get a really great-looking Sonic game here, but in my opinion, Frontiers didn't look even remotely as good as this in its reveal trailer. Frontiers kind of looked iffy, if I'm being honest. It did. It did. But, uh... Yeah. The only thing I don't like about the game is the name. Sonic Superstars sounds... It, it just reminds me of Mario Party Superstars. That's what I was going to say. It reminded me of that, too. Yeah, but I think it's something I'll get over quickly. I do love that you could play four-player co-op. I think that's really cool. You think it's going to be... Sucks. Huh? You think it's going to be too fast-paced, or what? It doesn't look like it, because there was footage of... Um, all four players on the screen and it looked like they were moving at a decent pace. Um, what's it called? They even mentioned that the physics will be close to what Legacy Sonic fans are expecting from classic Sonic games, which is good because we don't want another Sonic 4 situation. Uh, it does give new Super Mario Brothers vibes, uh, but I, I think that's in the best way, to be honest. Um, I think it visually looks pretty great too. Yeah, and the new mechanics look cool, the new special look cool. Um, I don't know who's developing it. I don't know if it's Sonic Team or if it's... I doubt it's Evening Star, which were the developers of Mania, but if it is Sonic Team, it's probably another division of Sonic Team. But we'll probably find out within the next week or so who's developing it. But overall, I would say that was probably... That, my reaction to that trailer was, how would I say it? It was as big as Super Mario Odyssey's because I had been, I've been clamoring for a new 2D Sonic game with original levels for a while now. And it seems like we're finally getting that. It kind of was similar with Super Mario Odyssey because I remember most Mario games released during that time. Not only were they essentially a retread of New Super Mario Brothers, but they just didn't have a lot interesting going for them, and it just felt very samey. But Odyssey just, well, I still remember the reveal even to this day. Oh my god. I remember you and I were watching it at the same time, I think. Yeah, they had that Switch um, presentation at like, what was it, 11 I think, p.m.? I think we didn't even text during the Odyssey reveal. I think we were both like floored with how amazing it looked. And then it turned out to be a bad video game. No, 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 no. No, I'm um, joking. I love I, Super I, Mario Odyssey. I like Odyssey a lot, too. Um, I think I was just excited at the prospect that they were finally doing a 3D sandbox Mario. So, yeah, I felt the same way with Sonic Superstars when it was revealed, because it was like, finally, an original 2D Sonic game. That looks modern. No nope. pixel crap. No offense to the pixel art stuff in Mania, but it was just getting kind of redundant at that point. That's the thing. A lot of these throwback sort of games exist. They could have gone for like 2D, hand-drawn, or 
uh, the 3D, I think the 3D looks really good. It kind of reminded me of Link's Awakening in a way. A little yeah. bit. Did it remind you of that, or am I the only one? You mean A Link Between Worlds? Link's Awakening, the remake on Switch. Oh, oh. Yeah, I could see that. It does, it, uh, I guess because it's 2.5D, but it looks really good. I'm very, very excited for it. Um, and I can't really say I was excited for Frontiers. I think I was just cautiously optimistic, and I was disappointed at the end of it, but... This is kind of what I want as a Sonic fan. Not necessarily more... Uh, Sonic fans know what I'm talking about. Not necessarily more classic Sonic, but just more Sonic-y stuff. Like this. This is really cool. What is the chat saying so far? Because it's not appearing for me. Dimitri, what's your opinion on the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake? I have no opinion about it. I haven't even heard of it before. I've only played Sonic Mania, so I have no idea which other Sonic games are worth getting when I only have Nintendo systems. Oh, J to the P, I could help you there. Um, I could tell you which games not to get. <laughs> oh, that's reassuring. Don't get Sonic Forces. Um, don't get Team Sonic Racing. Let's see. Don't get Sonic Origins. <laughs> Um, Quality series, yeah. am I right? Truly a rival to Mario. If you yeah. ignore most of the series, then it's amazing. The Switch has not been kind to Sonic, but I'm hoping that Superstars turns it around for him because, oh my god, it looks amazing. But honestly, to be honest with you, Jake's the P, um, most of the great Sonic games, uh, you have to put, play on PC. I, I would recommend Sonic Adventure and Sonic Generations to you, but. Uh, sadly, they're not. They have not been re-released yet. I haven't heard of Chad Tronic's game, but I'm sure it's going to be good. I think we're going to do something a little bit different here, and we're going to start by replacing the SL and SR buttons. Wait. Chad Tronic announced a game. Apparently. Let me see. I I gotta see this. What is called Poglings? Oh. Whoa! This looks kind of, This looks like the Chow Garden. That's what he was trying to do? I don't know. It, it just looks like the Chow Garden. It's a Kickstarter. Oh. It looks cute. I don't know what type of game it's supposed to be. Yeah, I haven't oh, seen yeah, it. This looks cute. Well, good to see it looks good. Although, like I said, I'm kind of wary about Kickstarter. But since it's Chad Tronic, I feel more comfortable if I were to donate to it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely like a Chow Garden game. What, is he really, like, really into that? Like, has uh, he mentioned it in videos remember, before? If I remember correctly, yeah. Like, you're raising little creatures like Chows, and they level up. Um... It looks cute. They should make a game based on Gerald. <laughs> oh, and the customization for the creatures are really cool. That's neat. Wow. Oh, and they got Animal Crossing elements in it, too. Oh, nice. You can plant your own fruits for your little creatures. You can fish, it looks like. Yeah, this looks cute. What are, what's the goal? Like, you're just raising your creatures on the islands. Sort of like Pokemon, except none of the JRPG stuff. Probably better graphics, too. It does look a little rough. Um, well, it doesn't look rough. It, it, it looks... It looks pretty good for, like, starting a Kickstarter. Ah. Uh. Yeah, they have chow races. Yeah. Any other questions in the chat? Uh, I have to go back to the chat because I was watching the trailer. But, let's see. 
No, Timu, I do not want a free Nintendo Switch. What is going on with that? I heard something about it, but there's like some scam. Yeah, they're a scam. What is so it, basically, though? So what they basically do is tell you that, you that they have a free Switch, and once you download their app and try to buy it, it tells you that they're all sold out and force you to buy other products. That's what it is for? Any characters like that, I'm all for. I love the sort of weird, obscure characters in Mario games. Although, I wouldn't say Poochie's obscure. Let's see. He said we need more child Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't watched Chatronic in a long time. I haven't either, so that's why I was wondering, you know, what's going on with that. But it looks really, it looks really promising. I hope the Kickstarter goes well. I just... I don't know. After ukulele, I don't know if I could. <laughs> I, I don't know. Kickstarters are very iffy with video games for me nowadays. And it stinks because for every shovel knight, you got a mighty number no. nine, a ukulele, and a super retro squad. Yeah. Unfortunately. That super retro squad game never saw the light of day either. That's sad. It's actually more sad than mighty number no. nine. <laughs> was as bad as it was. What the hell happened with that game? Uh, a troubled development. There was too much, I think there was too much going on. Um, they, I think they were initially going to, like, release the game for, like, a smaller group of consoles. And then, uh, they started adding more and more consoles to it. So, I don't know. I really don't know. The concept art looked promising, and some of the gameplay ideas looked pretty cool, but yeah, it was a pretty bad game. Well, at least we got Mega Man 11. Are they doing anything else with the series, or...? Uh, there was a leak a while back, and not not the just swap, like, blah, blah, blah. not those types of leaks. An actual leak from Capcom itself, from their emails, um, saying that I think... I think they confirmed Street Fighter 6 at that time, and, uh, what's it called? I think there was a Mega Man X game in development, and Mega Man 12. They didn't say what release dates it was going to come out on, but, um, there are Mega Man games coming, and I think Capcom is doing a showcase next week, so maybe we'll see them there. I'm just at a loss for words. You said that Jeff Slob wasn't a credible leaker? He was right. He was right. Zippo was right. There was a 2D Sonic. The best part about all of that is I remember the February Direct. You called me after, and the only thing that was on my mind was Metroid Prime Remastered being real and Jeff Grubb being right. Now, Zippo, Zippos keeps saying that there's a 2D Mario game in development, and he said once that Foreman Spike was going to be a playable character. If, if they release a new Mario game and Foreman Spike isn't a, play, a playable character, that throws out all his credibility. <laughs> all of it. Did he actually uh, say that? He actually did say that in one of his posts. I think with the Nintendo leaks, you can't really get him right. But for some reason, Imran Khan got everything about one two, everybody one two switch right. Well, I guess because Nintendo doesn't care. No, Nintendo I does. Mean, I mean, look at the eShop description for it. It only has two images. Not even a trailer. We still don't have a trailer for the game! Well, they're hiding the... As a show would say, well, they're just hiding the best parts. <laughs> By the way... How bad is this gonna be? Another thing I noticed is... We were talking about this. Have you noticed how aggressive the shills were? Yeah. I was, I mean... I'm on Twitter, so I see a lot more of it than you do, but I informed you about it. And it's just ridiculous. All it's this ridiculous. for... How, they attack you for, like, every single little thing. It's ridiculous. Yeah. it. I don't understand. Like, okay, maybe for Pokemon... Okay, they... Pokemon fanboys are like that. Splatoon, I can kind of understand that. Actually, this is something that I wanted to bring up to you earlier, but... Did you hear that the Metroid Prime 4 website is up right now? 
Uh, the UK one, or? I don't remember which one it was, but I know that one of the websites are, like, not live, but it's ready to go. You could know what? The, could that be the holiday title? I don't know. I don't know. It would make sense, considering they released Metroid Prime Remastered at the beginning of the year. Maybe 2024. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of this little bit of plastic that's stuck. Okay, I think I got it. What I learned working on my Sonic are... One, if you're going to give random scenes or let the interesting ones choose your one of their own, if they want a scene with a specific character, just give them one of... I'm a little confused. I think I'm missing context here. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> but... Let's see, any other questions? Was Super Retro Squad the Mario crossover game? Yup, it sure was. I know there was an update about it, but at the same time... You know, it sucks what happened, but at the same time, you don't take someone's money and run. Yeah, that's scummy. You know, he actually went to the Philippines. He took <sighs> the money and ran. You know... <laughs> you're Brett. It's not pretty. I don't think you realize it, but I do. Spon what, Spongebob? Yeah. Do you prefer Double Dash or 8? That's an easy question. 8. Yeah. By the way, shouldn't we be getting Wave 5 already? Let's ask Jeff Grubb. He was right! <laughs> I don't think Apollo liked that. He doesn't, he doesn't think Jeff Slob is credible. <laughs> Wave 5, you know, I will, I'll predict and say that Wave 5 will come out next week. There's a lot of, there's a lot of showcases happening next week. It would make sense, but you never know with Nintendo. They're going to announce it on Tuesday at 3 a.m. <laughs> They're going to announce it Sunday after church. They're going to announce it after everybody went to Switch. Everybody wants to switch. I you want? They made a remix of the Cha Cha Slide, and they said everybody wants to switch. Well, considering that they're out of touch to use the horse mask meme from 2010, I'm not surprised. They probably would do that. How bad do you think the game is going to be? Because considering we don't even have a trailer yet, that's that that makes me a little bit interested. I think. The worst it could be is like a boring, clunky, confusing mess. Unless it's glitchy, buggy, or does something so horrible. I don't know what it could do, though. You guys, I don't know. what could everybody want to Switch do to be so horrible that it hasn't even gotten a trailer? And not even a screenshot. And the screenshots we have gotten are just actors. Hey, gosh, I'm so sick of the Cupid Shuffle and the Cha-Cha Slide. I'm just imagining J. Tilda P. Morano disgruntled at a wedding, and everyone's what doing the doing? Cupid Shuffle, and he's sitting there like, Ugh. According to the week, the people that worked on it nicknamed it Horse. Oh, yeah, we know that. No, sir, I don't like it. That's what they probably said while developing the nope, game. Nope, nope, nope. No, sir, I don't like it. I don't like it. Do you know what that's referring to? Stimpy. Yeah, Mr. Horse. Psychologist? Are you nuts? I'm a horse. Man, I can't wait to see how bad this game is. I think this is one of the few times I'm actually excited for a game to see how bad it is. Me too. You're not far off from your thoughts, Demich, LOL. <laughs> oh, that's actually what happens? I mean, considering how bad was was one two switch the original it was bad it was a weird game the idea of it was to have a video game that you don't look at which it's kind of like that a sounds stupid it's kind of like a board game thing it really centered around the haptic feedback the hd rumble the joy cons and it had these cringy live action videos i couldn't get into the game because of those they probably did that because it's cheaper. 
Yeah, I think the switch was rushed, and they probably did that because of it. Oh, man. I, I can't wait to see how bad this is. Do you think I, it'll be worse know. than Strikers? Yeah. At least, at least Strikers has mechanics. If you ignore the game, then it's amazing! <laughs> One, two, switch should have been included with the system or way cheaper at launch. I agree. Um, yeah, but I'm excited to see how bad it is. If they don't release a trailer until... No, if they don't release a trailer at all, and I see Twitter blowing up over how bad it is, oh, man. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a new Mario Strikers video for you. The only difference is, maybe Twitter won't defend this one. I remember last year... You remember how ravenous the shills were for that freaking game? Yeah. And look what they're doing. I bet they're still playing. No. They forgot about it, didn't they? Well, the only defense I see is uh, them saying, well, at least it's $30. Did I forget to put in the rubber cover? I think I might have. That would be embarrassing. Well, at least everybody went to Switch is $30. It's not like it's hurting anybody. And plus, there's all types of games. Stop hating on people hate liking games. If you ignore the game, then it's amazing. Apollo. I think if you ignore the game, then it's amazing. It's even funnier than if they're if they're not unfinished, they're incomplete. Oh, once when I was seven years old, I sat on a banana set. Oh, but it was ten dollars cheaper, so Nintendo is definitely being generous. Okay, let's see. Did I put the rubber? Oh, how did I forget? I think because you mentioned everybody wants to switch, I forgot to put in the rubber covers. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. Nintendo does to us. Mm -hmm. Nintendo usually always creates trailers to announce games. I think this is the only one to not have one, at least in recent years. I've never heard of a Nintendo game that didn't have a trailer before it released. That is a great sign that this is a game that they're confident in. I think this is going to be bad. It's going to be really, really bad. Man. If you ignore it, then it's amazing, though. I can't wait to see how bad this is, honestly. Like, man. No trailer? No trailer, no screenshots of in-game footage, just a horse and his pals. Hey, at least, or at least the shills are defending it still. Or they're trying to. I don't know, Scarlet. I, thought, I really, I really thought we were gonna get another Mario sports game, and that was gonna be the thing that shows like defended about this year. I wasn't expecting everybody one to switch. You know, I'm kind of glad it is, because what more can you say about the free updates game? Oh, the free updates are unfinished. Blah 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 blah. blah Jeff Slob. Mar Mario Baseball in a free update. We'll put in the baseball. <laughs> the fact that Strikers didn't even have Daisy, that goes to show its quality. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's Next Level's next level Games' fault, though. I think it's just Nintendo being incompetent. I don't understand why. I mean, it's so weird because if they were consistently a bad developer, like whoever developed, or Game Freak, that's one thing. J to the P Moreno says, I still have Twitter. From what I've seen, no one is... No one I see is excited for 1 2 Switch 2. LOL. What about everyone 1 2 Switch? Are people excited for that? Well, that's what he means. I know, I'm just being smart. <laughs> well, if that's the case, maybe you guys will have something to agree on. I doubt it. <laughs> Mario Baseball is going to happen. I'm sure it will. Why defend a billion dollar corporation is beyond me. <laughs> Aren't they the ones that claim corporations are evil and then they're the ones defending a corporation? I definitely have faith in a game that was internally nicknamed Horse Crap. Hey, maybe it's made for that lady on Hoarders. Maybe they'll like it. Try it, you'll like it. Wombats and lilies. Lily! Jeff Slob is a nasty... Nasty, 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 nasty. Oh! Just slob. 
Mario Baseball won't even have enough characters to fill both teams. They're going to have repeats. You know Strikers was so pathetic, that's what it did? Of course. Like you'd see multiple Mario and Luigi's on the freaking stadium. You know, the first Strikers game didn't have a lot of characters either, but it had the teammates to make oh, sure remember, something like that didn't happen. Remember when somebody said, well, it's like Mario Strikers on the GameCube. If you ignore it, then it's amazing. <laughs> How dare you insult Jeff Slop? How do you guys? How did you guys end up feeling about Strikers? It's been almost a year. How do you feel so about she, it? So she asks you, do you like cereal straws? Yes. Can you find them in stores again? I haven't seen them. Hey, Toucan what? Sam. How would you make drinking cereal more fun? Grenade Man says, well, I best be heading out. See you around, Demich. See ya, Grenade Man. Thank you for joining. Anton Retro says, well, I think no one asked for everybody once you switch, so I don't see anyone defending this game if it's bad. Whereas other games are fueled by nostalgia, even if they are poor in quality and content. Good point. I think that's a really good point. Yeah, maybe there won't be any shows, but definitely still have to cover the game. Oh, even if there weren't shills, I think it's funny. Why with the Fruit Loop straws? Of course. I just don't understand why the Strikers discourse lasted as long as it did. I guess because people like like what who, who said it. Like Anton said, there was a lot of nostalgia with Mario Strikers, and I guess they were in denial with accepting that the game that they waited for all their for like years was just kind of lacking in content. Kind of is an understatement. It's like a tech demo. I refuse to buy Battle League, both for the lack of top content and because I don't like soccer. Good reason. I want a new Mario Hoops game. I don't. Square Enix, get on that. I love the arts and animations, but I was put off by the content thing. Yeah, the content thing is just, like, unbelievable. You really have to play it to believe it. I've never been in a, into any of the Mario sports games either, J to the P. The only one I was into was uh, Mario Hoops 3 on 3 and uh, Mario Sports Mix. Well, they were developed by the same developers. Yeah, Square Enix could make a good basketball game, surprisingly. You know, I thought I wanted Mario American Football, but... If the sports games are of the quality that they've been, I don't want any more. Well, you could just get EA to make it for them. I'd take... You know what? I'd take EA over whatever Nintendo's doing, because at least their games are somewhat competent and finished. What is your favorite Mario sports game to reach? I would say Mario Golf World Tour on the 3DS. Mario Golf World Tour! I want to be, I want to be, I want to be famous. Oh, so you did get the reference. You act like I haven't just binged a series. Me like beans. I thought, you were up, I thought you were up to total drama action. I mean, that's a theme song. Yeah. <laughs> I know World Tour's existence. Now I'm trying to World find Tour. Story. World Tour was my favorite. World Tour looks like it's going to be my favorite, too. I don't even want to watch action just so I can get to World Tour. You should watch action, though, because there's some funny stuff that happens. I know Owen farts and says, me like beans. <laughs> Not that. It was funny or stuff. Beef? Beef meatballs? No, that would... <laughs> Test <laughs> All right, meatballs. <laughs> oh man, it's a shame they stopped using the Kremlins and DKC enemies in newer games. Is there some mandate against that? Because they showed up in in games after the buyout. I think it has to do with the man that everybody in the Paper Mario community knows as Ken Soup Tanabe. Hey. 
Because he's he's the one who was spearheading the Donkey Kong Country Returns games. And I think it was his decision to want to have new villains for some reason, but with the popularity of King K. Rool and Smash Brothers, I mean, the chances of King K. Rool returning are higher than ever. Yeah, so instead, what they're going to do is they're going to have Garden Gnomes as the next villain. <laughs> and then Tanabe's going to say, uh, I don't like the old Donkey Kong Country Returns art style. I mean, uh, gameplay. Let's make it an RPG instead. I don't know why Tanabe is so gung-ho about his own creative ideas and such. He's We're... so smug about Super Mario Bros. 2 as well. He's always mentioning it in, in interviews. I mean, to be honest... I directed Mario 2, and Miyamoto liked it. Let's see. Get the spring in. Great! Now I know how a meatball feels. (laughs) That was good! (laughs) Was that Owen? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That was really good. I like beans. (laughs) No, it's me like beans. It was to show how stupid he is. Because Trent said, you know, Owen, sometimes you're really... Me like beans. Of course you like Owen. Of course you like Owen. How would I not expect that you would like Owen out of all the characters? I like Cody, too, and Sierra. I know Sierra's world tour, but I've already seen him. Cody! You only like Cody because of the name. No, I think he's a funny character. He's a nerd, and then he ends up getting... Sierra goes after him. He thought who's he won. The, who's the guy who, uh... I forgot his name. The guy who's, like, the redhead. He kind of talks like this. Hey, annoying orange guy. What's going on? He's the one who brought back the classic meme of the executed orange. You know what they say? If the glove fits or doesn't fit, wear it anyway. <laughs> No, but who was the character's name that he talks like Napoleon Dynamite? Harold. Harold, that's his name. He's funny. He's funny. Lashana, I wrote that letter. Oh, yeah, he had a crush on Lashana, right? I think his exit was the funniest thing from the show. You know what, guys? I don't know if I could say it in a family friendly stream, but he was a. Or he uh, was... It was a family friendly show. No, it wasn't. Well, just give me hints. He was happy because he left the island seeing something like... Oh. He saw... Yeah. He saw the light. No, something to do with Heather. Oh. So she said it. Oh, oh. Desirables. (laughs) Yeah. He's... Wait, that actually, I gotta re- now I gotta rewatch Total Drama. You gotta watch the original version, because Cartoon Network just cut out a lot of stuff. Every, every time you've been, every time you thought it, I've been there. Who said that? The fart fairy. Oh, that face. I actually do watch Total Drama. Random question, but have you seen the Timon and Pumba TV series? I love how off the wall it is. I remember that. I used to love it. What is it called? Timon and Pumba. I think I slightly remember it. I never watched Disney Channel, though. I love The Lion King one and a half. Here, I'll be right back. I, or I have a screw loose. Where did it go? That's okay, because the set comes with replacement ones anyway. Dimitri, how do you feel after the release of Nintendo's worst... Oh, uh, you got deleted. Oh. Yeah, Lion King one and a half was awesome. What's he asking? Uh, it got deleted, but... Lion King one and a half. That was my childhood. And Things for their sequels because they actually had creativity. Some of them were bad, but some of them were, were actually pretty good. 
Go. I remember not liking the Lilo and Stitch one. Ah, Co. Are you looking for the Musk Council? Who said that? I don't know. Some guy from a stupid NFT cartoon. No, did someone say it in the chat? No, I just said it. Oh, you're looking for the Muskville Council? Then why didn't you say so? Anyways, this all seems to be in order. This seems to be in order. Here are your documents. Can you guys mention my name? Annoying Orange Guy. Annoying Orange Guy. Everybody subscribe to Annoying Orange Guy. Do, 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 do. Oh. What did he or what did he eat say after running with Eat the Flues? Whoever made that up is messed up. Famous director Robert Zemeckis at the pinnacle of his career wrote a line saying, Eat the Flues. Oh, you know what was even worse? Pinocchio was bringing an apple to his teacher during that. And what happened is when the do 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 thing happened, he took the apple after it fell into that. Oh, really? Disney certainly has creative ideas, don't they? I think Disney started to go downhill ever since they ditched 2D animated movies. Yeah, that was the downfall. Actually, Princess and the Frog was really good. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but... I think what happened is the Winnie the Pooh movie failed, or whatever it was. That were, You that know was what? Actually, that was actually pretty good, too. It failed because it released the weekend of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. This is like some oh. Nintendo-level marketing or planning. You might as well release New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe on the same day and then cry about it failing. To be honest, that Winnie the Pooh movie was really good. Like, was it hand-drawn? Yeah. That was the last drawn, Disney right? 2D movie. Anton Blast looks super cool. I hope it's coming to Switch, though. And, uh, what's it called? Tom Kenny, I think, voiced Rabbit. Uh, yeah. See, I don't think Disney's gonna get back to having passion projects again. Oh, why is this... Colin! Thank you so much for the donation. Demich is back. I'm a back. Hey, Demich, do you know anything about slugs? <laughs> Who said that? Me. You know, is, there any, is there any stories about slugs that, <laughs> that you would know about by any chance? You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. It's funnier hearing it from you. What was it? Some kid got paralyzed by <laughs> eating a slug? Essentially what happened is this guy in Australia has... made a stupid meme with Jimmy Neutron about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're quiet about it, huh? No, what happened is in Australia... These guys were drinking red wine together, and they're like, Hey, you see the slug crawling across the wind or the porch? I dare you to eat that slug. Ah, uh, he ate the slug. And he thought, oh, doing a dare is so cool. Look at me. I'm going to impress my friends. But it turns out your friends wouldn't tell you to eat slugs. And then, unfortunately, what happened is the slug had, like, some infection, and he ate the slug and got paralyzed and then sadly passed. God rest his soul. Winnie the Pooh, that's ancient. Jimmy Neutron has passed away. <laughs> okay, let me just... Oh, man. What? Come on, you chimpanzee. Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, I'm Paul. Ooh. Wow, this is a great game. What is it, ukulele? No, no, Grunty's Revenge. All right, we are almost done. Just one more screw, and we have our new 3DS-themed Joy-Cons. 
They're not finished. They're just complete. They look like the new 2DS, to be honest. That's the point. That was the goal. Oh. Uh, Did you know that? It looked like it to me, but... I'm not a fan of that color scheme. Well, actually, I'm, not just, I'm just not a fan of the 2DS. It just looks like a toy to me. Hmm. I think maybe it needs to be screwed in just a little more. Just to click into place. La la woo. We're la la loopsies. We're la la loopsies. <laughs> no, I was referring to your favorite show. Which is? Sid. And that's called Sid. And that's called Poop. You said oh, Poop. Do you, guys, do you guys know that Demetra's mom is teacher Susie? <laughs> that is not true. But here are the Joy-Cons. Is that a Twitter quote? I don't think so. Blame streaming that no studio will take risks with their projects ever again. I don't think yeah. streaming has to do with it. But how'd it turn out? I think it turned out phenomenal. Looks pretty good. I'm comparing it to the regular new 2DS XL. Get the flies! Come on, I just spent nearly an hour and a half making this and you say eat the flies? Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Come on. But anyways, that about wraps it up. Animal crackers in my soup. What about it? But in the meantime, someone said animal crackers in my soup. But in the meantime, these turned out phenomenal and I'm excited to use them. But Anton Retro, this is something I wanted to showcase to you before we end the stream. Look what I got today. I just acquired this from Facebook Marketplace. It's the Galaxy. Super new 3DS Galaxy! Super Mario Galaxy! Alright guys, thanks for watching, and as always, keep calm and da-da on. And before we go, the, the wildfires in Canada are 100% factually invalid! That's it, I'm done. Now that is a Demich stream.